Hi, today we're going to be looking at geometry in grade 10. We're going to be looking at some riders and how we go about proving these riders. Firstly, thought process in geometry. In grade 10, you are required to complete geometric proofs. This is not the proof we're looking for. Fortunately, or I should say unfortunately, we're looking for systematic reasoning using definitions, theorems, and axioms. If we are proving angles or sides equal, number one, inspect. Perhaps it's right there. As an example, if we need to prove that angle B is equal to angle C, if we look at triangle ABC, this is an isosceles triangle. Therefore, the angles opposite the equal sides will be equal. Another example, if we need to prove that PQ is equal to SR, this figure is a parallelogram and one of the properties of a palm opposite sides are equal. Sometimes we may, we may need to look at congruency. And it's also a good technique to question yourself. Ask, well, what is an angle equal to? Example, if we need to prove that angle A is equal to angle E, our reasoning, what is angle A equal to? In this case, we can say angle A is equal to C1 opposite angles of a palm. What is angle C1 equal to? Is it equal to E? Not at this stage. So let's go on. C1 is equal to D1. And the reason for this is alternate angles, parallel lines. Now we can ask ourselves the question, what is D1 equal to? Is D1 equal to angle E? Yes, because D, C, E is an isosceles triangle. If we write the proof out, angle A is equal to C1, angle C1 is equal to D1, D1 is equal to E, angle A is equal to E, and we can see the link. We started at angle A, and eventually we ended up at angle E. Therefore, we can con conclude that angle A is equal to angle E. A good technique when things get difficult is to let an angle equal to x. In this problem that we have, we are given a rhombus and we are given j1 equal to j2. We need to prove that angle hmj is equal to 3 times angle hjm. Proof. Start off with the small angle hjm. HJM. We can say let that angle be equal to X. So J1 is X. Now we need to find other angles in terms of X. You will notice that J2 is X. Given. J1 equal to J2. Next we have angle L1 is equal to 2X. And the reason for that is we have an isosceles triangle. Remember this is a rhombus. So JH is equal to HL. So if this angle, J1 and 2, adds up to 2X, then L1 is 2X. Last, M1 is an exterior angle of triangle JML, which now gives us 3X. So we have proven that HMJ is equal to 3 times HJM. Let's move on to some riders. Our first example, ABCD and ABXY are parallelograms, such that DCYX is a straight line. We want to prove that triangle ADY is congruent to triangle BCX. So where do we start? Let's highlight the two triangles that we need to prove congruent. DAY and B, C, X. Let's get our skeleton out for congruency in triangles A, D, Y and triangle B, C, X. We're looking at the red triangle and the blue triangle. Number one, let's look for sides that are equal. A, D is equal to B, C. And my reason for this is opposite sides of a palm are equal. 
Next, let's look for angles that are equal. Angles in the red triangle and the blue triangle that are equal. Look at Y1 and angle X. They are equal and the reason for that is corresponding angles. And the line to the parallel is BX and AY. Then we can look at angle D and angle C2. They are also equal because of corresponding angles. AD is parallel to BC. Do we have a case? Yes. Angle, angle, and a side. So we can conclude that triangle ADY is congruent to triangle BCX. And my reason is side, angle, angle. We have achieved our goal of proving the two triangles congruent. Let's move on to another example. In this example, we want to prove that KAD, that's angle KAD, is equal to angle CDA. So the question that comes to is, what is angle KAD equal to? And in this problem, I'm going to use the X technique. So, firstly, I'm going to let this KAD equal to X. Now, which other angles will be equal to X? You'll notice that angle AKB is equal to X, and my reason is alternate angles. The lines are parallel. Are there any other angles equal to X? We have angle B, which is equal to X, and the reason for this is radius. AB and AK are two lines produced from the center of the circle to the circumference. Therefore, we have AB equal to AK radii. Now, remember what is our goal? We want to prove that KAD is equal to CDA. And if we look for CDA, we're looking at this angle. Now, is that angle equal to X? Most certainly. We have B, which is equal to X. Therefore, CDA is X. And the reason is opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So we started with KAD is equal to X, we now have CDA is equal to X, and we can conclude that KAD is equal to CDA. Example 3. We want to prove in this diagram, you can read the question, we want to prove that KX, KX is equal to KY. So where do we start? If we look at KX and KY, they are not angles, but they are lines. So I'm going to try and identify a triangle that they are part of. And you'll notice I have a green triangle, KY is part of that. Also, KY is part of the yellow triangle. So I could either go with the green triangles or the yellow triangles and prove congruency. If the triangles are congruent, then I can conclude that KX will be equal to KY. I'm going to go with yellow. I've got my template set out. I'm looking at triangle AXK, AXK, and CYK. We're looking for three features that will give us a case for congruency. Number one, are there any sides that are equal? Yes, we have AK is equal to KC. And the reason is the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other, which means they cut each other in half. Do we have any angles that are equal? I'm looking at angle KAX and angle C, sorry, angle YCK. And you'll notice they are equal, and the reason is alternate angles. Last, we have vertical opposite angles that you can see. And you'll notice that AKX is equal to YKC. Do we have a case? Most definitely. And the case we are using here is side, angle, angle. And we have proved that the two triangles are congruent. If the two triangles are congruent, we can now conclude that KX is equal to KY. And that was our RTP, which is our required to prove. Example 4. This time, the question is to prove that AB is equal to BQ. 
we are given a parallelogram with an extension. Line AB is extended to Q and DP is extended to Q. So, this one, we are looking at two sides. And before we start this, the question we want to ask ourselves, what is AB equal to? If we look at AB, we definitely know that AB is equal to DC because they are opposite sides of a parallelogram. So, what we're going to do is we want to prove that AB is equal to BQ. AB is equal to BQ. But we know that AB is equal to DC. So, we're going to go with another strategy. We're going to try and prove that BQ is equal to DC. So, I've taken the two triangles, as you see in blue. Let's try and prove these two triangles congruent. Number one, we see BP is equal to BC. And the reason for this, it's given. And you must be wondering, where is it given? If you read the top, it says that P is the midpoint of side BC. Number two, we look at vertically opposite angles. BPQ is equal to angle CPD. Those are vertically opposite angles. Number three, we have angle Q equal to angle D. And, and the reason for this is alternate angles. So we have a case, angle, angle, side. Therefore, we have the two blue triangles are congruent and the case is side, angle, angle. Now, what is my conclusion? If these two triangles are congruent, we can now conclude that BQ is equal to DC. But we know, as stated earlier, that AB is equal to DC. So we have AB equal to DC, we have BQ equal to DC. Our conclusion is AB has to be equal to DC. We see we have a common side here called DC, therefore our conclusion is AB is equal to BQ. We go to our last example, example 5. ABCD is a rhombus. Now we've got to remember all the properties of a rhombus. Some of the properties that we're going to use here, all sides are equal. The diagonals of the rhombus bisect the angles of a rhombus. So these are some of the properties. There are many other properties a rhombus has. Going on with this problem, if the bisector of angle DAC, they are telling us that these two angles at A will be equal. They are bisected. And it wants us to prove that angle DPA, DPA is equal to 3 of angle DAP. Give you some time to think about this. So we're going to use our earlier technique where we're saying let angle DAP equal to X. As you can see, I've indicated that DAP is equal to X. If angle DAP is equal to X, which other angles will be equal to X? Well, it's quite obvious that CAP is equal to X. And the reason for this, it's given. It states initially that it is bisected. Now remember where we want to go. We need to get to D, P, A. So we can carry on our, on our journey. Now remember this is a rhombus. So we can now conclude that angle C, D, C, A is equal to 2X. And the reason is this is now an isosceles triangle because a rhombus, all sides are equal. In other words, AD is equal to DC. Now we want to find angle DPA. And you will notice that angle DPA is an exterior angle of triangle ACP. So we can conclude that angle DPA is equal to 3X. Another way we can do it, which is quite complicated, is if we use triangle ACD, that will actually give us 180 minus 4X using some angles of a triangle. And then we can find angle DPA using some angles of a triangle and use 180 minus X minus 180 minus 4X. That's quite intense. So I'm going to advise you to go with DPA, which is equal to 3X, 
And your reason is exterior angle of triangle ACP.